أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أسيكم نفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل Praise be to Allah the most gracious the most merciful May Allah's mercy peace and blessings be upon our beloved prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah says in the Quran Surah Al-Baqarah that is chapter 2 verse 208 A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dukhulu fi silmi kaffa Wa la tattabi'u khutuwat al-shaytan in إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُّبِينٌ In that verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Islam وَدُخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَةً And that is our subject, that is our topic for today بإذن الله تعالى, that is Islam We need to understand, we are Muslims, but what is Islam? Uh, we all have de uh, many a number of definitions regarding that concept regarding Islam. We have so many definitions. I know you also have one. Uh, but Islam, who is the Islam of Allah, the Tawheed, and the Inqiyad of the Ta'a, and the Khulus of the Shirk. That is our definition that we usually learn from schools. Right from early childhood, I think up to level of university of uh, high learning. Who is the Islam Allah? To do submission to the will of Allah. That is very important, and that's, that's what I need to focus on most. Al Islam Allah. Islam means exchanging your desires, your will. Uh, the things you like, you want, you need, you exchange them with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. What does it mean? It means that whatever we do in Islam, whatever we do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it doesn't mean that we do it just because we, we enjoy, we, you know, not, not like that, but we do it because it pleases the Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that is love. You submit your will. You exchange your will. You exchange your desire with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes. You exchange your desire against Allah's desire. You exchange your will against Allah's will. Uh, that's why in most cases you find that uh, this ibadat, the, the many acts of worship we have, we you know, they are very difficult to, 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 to fulfill. Take for, for instance, salah, take for instance, sadaqa, take for instance, fasting, that is soul, take for instance, hajj itself. There is nothing simple or easy if it comes in a form of ibadah. Why? Because in most cases, it's not your will. It's, you wouldn't love to do it. But why do you have to do it? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's what he wants. That's, how he, that's what he recommends. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes from you, wants from you, from us as Muslims, as followers of the Quran. So, briefly, Islam is total submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to break up all that definition, but for today we shall stop at that part of the definition. That's why the verse I recited, that is Surah Al-Baqarah, verse uh, 208, Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2, where Allah says in that verse, that Uduhulu fi silni kafak, that please, if you are joining Islam, if you are a Muslim, be, become a fully Muslim, become a fully Muslim, be in Islam with all your heart, with all your desires with all your life your you, your entire life should all be islamic or islam you, you should all put it in islam uh, 
uh, when someone embraces Islam, it doesn't mean that he will take all the package of Islam at once, but he will go one by one, but eventually he will have to become a complete Muslim. That's what Allah says. Uduhulu ufisilmi kafa. It means that you still have a, lot, uh, a challenge if you perform, let's say, one salah, then another salah, it's very hard for you to perform, then you have not fully embraced Islam. You have not fully put yourself into Islam. You are in Islam, then one side it's still somewhere where you are not so sure about where you are. That's not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. Allah tells us, وَدُخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَ Let us submit all our desires against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes. Thank you for watching us. We still uh, have a number of preachings, a number of teachings. Please follow us always and uh, advise your, your friends, welcome your friends, your workmates, your, your hobbies and OGs, all people you have met. Please let them uh, also follow our YouTube, YouTube channel, that is Powerful Islamic Teachings, uh, so that we can learn our faith, our deen, our religion. We need it. It's a must for, 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 for to every Muslim man and woman to understand, to learn his faith, his religion. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.